exclusive, before Hurricane Dorian reaches landfall sometime tonight. Some theaters on the central east coast of Florida have already boarded up, including a slew of AMC, Regal and Cinemark multiplexes. Most of these sites aren't expected to reopen until Tuesday and Wednesday, in time for new lines at Chapter 2, which starts previews Thursday night. The Weather Channel reports that hurricane and storm surge warnings have already been issued for parts of Florida's east coast. Tropical storm winds at 39 miles per hour are expected, eventually building to 74 mph plus tonight. How strong the winds are depends on how close the center of Dorian is to the state's coast lints. Battering waves, coastal flooding and beach erosion are expected along the southeastern shores. Cinema closed theaters in Boca Raton, Boynton and Davie last night at 8 p.m. Regal counts at least 13 sites that are shuttered including such megaplexes as the Royal Palm Beach 18 and the Sawgrass Stadium 23 in Sunrise and South Beach 18 in Miami. AMC has closed 16 locations including venues in Pompano Beach, the City Place 20 in West Palm Beach and the Indian River 24 in Vero Beach. AMC even plans to close its Myrtle Beach 12 as far north as South Carolina today in anticipation of Dorian. As widespread as theater closings can be during a Florida hurricane, distribution sources say it only has a negative low single-digit percent toll on a week's box office. An East Coast deep freeze like January 2016's Storm Jonas, which shut theaters from Charlotte, North Carolina to New York City, had more of a negative financial impact on the weekend box office, with overall ticket sales over the January 22-24 period taking a 32% hit from the previous weekend. The Labor Day weekend box office, which didn't serve up wide entries by the major studios, rang up $113.6 million per Comscore this morning, minus 13% from the four-day holiday last year, but up 18% from Labor Day 2017, the last time the majors Saturday on the sidelines before it opened. In the wake of Hurricane Irma in 2017, Regal's Hollywood 20 in Naples, FL, sustained damage and the chain's new owner Cineworld gave the 23-year-old multiplexy gorgeous 21st century upgrade with a digital poster-clad lobby and cushy leather recliner seats. In the summer of 2011, AMC's Vestal Town Square in Binghamtown, NY closed due to flooding and was reopened at the end of the year, receiving a full recliner renovation. Although Dorian is now a Category 4, the storm has been ravaging the Air Bahamas, and at 185 miles per hour is the strongest hurricane to hit the islands. Rain continues to fall in northwestern Bahamas, where 12 to 24 inches of rain are expected with isolated amounts at 30 inches. Bahamian Prime Minister Hubert Minnis tweeted Monday, Grand Bahama is still feeling the impact of the Category 5. Winds have decreased to 165 mph but Dorian remains an extremely dangerous storm. Our focus right now is rescue, recovery and prayer. Let's block ads. Why?